While playing your favorite online multiplayer game, a quick internet connection paired with fast response times is imperative to give you the edge over your competitors. Believe it or not, just a fraction of a second difference between yourself and your competitor could mean the difference between winning or losing the round. Should you be experiencing any lag, excess latency, or dropouts, you'll find that the connection between yourself and the game is disrupted and crucial bits of information in regards to your gameplay is lost. It can be super frustrating, I know. But what can cause a disruption to the network? Well, every situation is different, but I'm gonna talk to you today about a couple of different things you could do to help keep your your connection nice and crispy. Let's jump right into it. Let's say hypothetically you've got a family home with two adults and two kids. As soon as the adults come home from work and the kids come home from school, you'll find that everybody jumps onto the network pretty quickly. You may have the parents' iPhones and Xbox, a couple of laptops connected all at the same time while all doing different tasks. With all of these different devices using the internet in some capacity, you will find that the network will become a little more congested. Now your network will automatically action the signals in the order of which they appear and then have them simultaneously run with each other at varying speeds. Let me explain. So let's just say that the mom starts uploading a huge album of family photos on Facebook. And just a moment later, the dad starts up a Zoom call for work, followed by the daughter turning on her favorite Netflix show, all while the son is loading into his favorite game. So now your network will be running all these different activities simultaneously, which in turn will slow down the network. This is because the network becomes saturated and it starts to look a little like a traffic jam. Let's think of every signal sent by the family as a car. Now, if there's a lot of signals being sent at the same time, that's gonna mean a lot of cars on the road. It will start to look like peak hour traffic and the network will move at a slow with speed. It's important to know that in this context, the variation of the speed of the internet is called jitter. Sometimes the network can't actually handle this amount of traffic, so things called packets are lost. Packets are essentially little parts of the signal. This means that these packets have been temporarily lost and will have to attempt to be resent later. Meaning that the time between the user sending the signal and the server receiving the signal becomes longer, which in turn means longer latency. This, my friends, is not good. You've heard of lag, right? That's what latency is. Something around the 50 milliseconds worth of lag is noticeable, but still deemed playable whereas 30 milliseconds or below would be considered ideal conditions for first-person shooters. Latency or lag can also occur when you're trying to connect to a server that's geographically further away. This is regardless of how good your internet speeds are. Doesn't matter if you have the best internet in town, if you are trying to connect to a server that's further away, you'll run into some more latency. So how does one avoid jitter, you ask? It's not exactly like you can get your family to stay off the internet while you're trying to get those wins. But don't worry, Telstra has found a solution that will work in this instance. They've released something called the Telstra Game Optimizer, which can help gamers in this situation. It essentially automatically identifies different types of traffic on the network and prioritizes them accordingly. This means that everybody in the home gets a great user experience. By making sure that small gaming traffic is able to be moved through the network quickly, gamers will no longer be able to blame other people on the network for their losses in game. With video stream buffering and a suitable internet tier speed, you'll find that your Netflix experience will be just as good at the same time. Let's go back to that traffic analogy so we can make this crystal clear. In this analogy, let's think of the gamers as being motorbike riders and everybody else on the home network being in cars. So picture this, you're standing at an overpass at the end of the day and there's some crazy bumper to bumper peak hour traffic in front of you. Things are moving pretty slow, however, they are moving at a steady pace. With all the different cars on the road, they all need to pay attention to each other and make sure everybody can move through at the same speed to keep things flowing nicely. Again, cars in this analogy are Zoom users, Netflix users, and people that are doing general browsing. Are you with me? And now as you're watching the traffic, you notice a single motorbike move from the back of the traffic, weave through nice and smoothly without affecting the other cars and continue on. And again, in this instance, the motorbike is the gamer. At no point in the traffic does the motorbike actually slow down the cars, but it just filters through where there's space. So essentially getting to the destination as fast as possible without affecting anyone else. This is what the Telstra game optimizer does. It prioritizes the gaming information sent through the network without actually affecting anybody else using it. Because sharing is caring, remember? Another really cool feature that the Telstra game optimizer has is that it's got congestion control. Congestion control can help slow down greedy applications, such as downloading a large file. To ensure that smaller latency sensitive applications like online and gaming and Zoom don't get impacted by the home network congestion caused by this download. Whilst the speed of the download may decrease by 5%, which is really not noticeable, both the gamer and the video caller will have an uninterrupted experience, which if it was interrupted, would be a little bit more noticeable. All in all, optimizing your network for gaming traffic is a great way to get the best speeds possible and try to give yourself a leg up in gaming. Take a look at your network and see what you could do to improve it, and I'd also highly recommend giving the Telstra Game Optimizer a sus.